Hello, friends. How are you? I hope that you're doing well. Um, I haven't been on here for a while because I had COVID. I had COVID, but I'm okay now. Um, and I know that there's a new um, strain going around in New York City. So, um, and even if you're not in New York City, please be safe. Please be safe. Um, I'm lucky that I um, got through this so quickly. But today, I want to just pop in here quickly to tell you or to talk a little bit about beliefs. Um, beliefs are something that the separated self loves. The separated self is fueled and built on beliefs, right? Your belief in God, your not belief in God, your belief in healthy living, your not belief in healthy living, your belief of Whatever it happens to be, it could be a million beliefs, what you believe about people, what you believe about the world, what you believe about yourself, what you believe about um, people from other countries, what you believe about whatever happens to be. These are all beliefs, right? Beliefs, beliefs, beliefs. Now, <laughs> the problem with the belief is that you either agree with it or you disagree with it. You either believe it or you don't believe it, right? Now, here is the game that's going on in the belief world, is that the separate self identifies with its beliefs. And so we continue to create this character called me, called Max, called Jane, called Joe, called whoever. We continue to um, create this character based on our beliefs. Now, I'm sure that you've heard about it a million times about, oh, you've got negative beliefs. You need to change those negative beliefs so that you have positive beliefs. And then when you have positive beliefs, then things will change, right? Now, hear me very clearly. There's nothing wrong with positive beliefs. There's actually nothing wrong with negative beliefs. But here's the game. We identify with the belief. So we believe, that's a belief, we believe we are the beliefs. So if I have positive beliefs, I am positive. If I have negative beliefs, I'm a negative person. Do you understand? This is the recipe for suffering. This is what keeps you looking, searching for a belief that feels better than a belief that you have now. Think about that for a second. You keep searching for a belief that you don't have now, so that you'll have when you have it, you will feel better, or your experience will be better, or your results will be better, or something will be better, and therefore you will be better. Because the bottom line belief is that you're wrong and that you are a problem. Something is wrong. That's a belief. Take a deep breath. So my suggestion to you is to begin, if you don't already, hopefully you do, to question every single one of your beliefs. Now, most people will question their negative beliefs that are giving them negative results. Instead of questioning every belief, the positive ones as well as the negative because until you start to do that, you will stay in the separated state. You will stay in the illusion. From another point of view, you might say you stay asleep within the dream. But when you start to see this and you start to question your beliefs, then see what happens. Then just see what happens. That's all I'm saying. See what happens. Okay? Remember, a belief is only a belief. It's not who you are. All right. I'd love to hear comments below about beliefs and let me know what you think about about questioning your beliefs. Um, I'd love to hear that. All right. All right. Until I talk until we talk again, um, I will see you very soon. All right. See you later.